SpaceX never fails to exceed our expectations and leave their competitors behind. Recently, they accomplished something no other private space company has ever done, the Polaris Dawn mission. This mission is groundbreaking, and today we'll be diving into what makes it so important and why it stands out in the world of space exploration. The Polaris Dawn mission has been a significant leap forward in space exploration and one of its most remarkable achievements is the first private spacewalk. This mission took over two years of preparation, with intensive training and development of new technology, and it represents a milestone not just for SpaceX, but for the commercial space industry as a whole. SpaceX has been preparing for this mission through rigorous training and development programs. The crew underwent over 2,000 hours of Dragon capsule simulations and high-G training, similar to what astronauts experience during launch and re-entry. They also trained in zero-gravity environments to adapt to the conditions of space. Unlike traditional NASA missions that train astronauts in a large pool used to simulate the microgravity environment, SpaceX engineers created an innovative system of pulleys and counterweights inside a Dragon capsule simulator to mimic microgravity on Earth. The crew's preparation also included medical and survival training, ensuring they were equipped to handle emergencies. This extensive preparation was essential for the mission's success, as the team was tasked with pushing the boundaries of what private space missions could accomplish. The private spacewalk conducted during Polaris Dawn is historically significant. Traditionally, spacewalks are performed by highly trained NASA astronauts or government space agency personnel. This mission, however, involved non-professional astronauts, including Mission Commander Jared Isaacman and SpaceX engineer Sarah Gillis. During the spacewalk, they conducted several tests to evaluate SpaceX's newly designed extravehicular activity suits, which are critical for future missions to the Moon, Mars, and beyond. The spacewalk occurred at an altitude of 1,400 kilometers, higher than any spacewalk since the Apollo missions in the 1970s. This altitude placed the crew in a region of space where radiation levels are much higher and space debris is more prevalent, making the mission even riskier. Furthermore, the Dragon capsule doesn't have an airlock, which meant that the entire crew was exposed to the vacuum of space when the hatch was opened. This is unlike NASA's space missions, where airlocks ensure only the astronauts conducting the spacewalk are exposed to space. The spacewalk was conducted using SpaceX's new EVA suits, which are different from traditional NASA suits. The suits were designed to be lightweight, flexible, and durable, allowing for greater mobility during extravehicular activities. These suits were also tested for their thermal management system, which uses materials sourced from Falcon 9's interstage section, making them more resistant to space conditions. In addition to the spacewalk, the mission focused heavily on scientific research. Polaris Dawn conducted around 40 experiments related to space health and biology. These experiments included studies on how microgravity affects bone structure and vision, as well as space radiation exposure. The Polaris mission marked a huge milestone not just with the first private spacewalk, but also with several other record-breaking achievements. In recent years, SpaceX has set a new standard for rocket launches. In 2022, they set a personal best by successfully launching 61 missions into orbit, most of which were tied to deploying Starlink satellites and other commercial payloads. This was already an impressive achievement, given that only a few companies have ever come close to launching so frequently. In 2023, SpaceX broke their own record by completing 96 launches a remarkable number that highlights how far the company has come in its ability to reuse rockets and perform quick turnaround missions. These 96 launches included 91 Falcon 9 missions and 5 Falcon Heavy missions. For reference, SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket alone had more launches in one year than its entire first decade of operations. This is an important point because it emphasizes how rapidly the company has scaled up its operations over the years. The Falcon 9 rocket is known for its reusability, which significantly lowers the cost of space travel and makes frequent launches feasible. 
For 2024, SpaceX aims to continue this rapid pace, with plans for nearly 150 launches, setting even higher benchmarks for the industry. This would be almost 10 missions per month. While the spacewalk during the Polaris Dawn mission was an important part of the mission, it is critical to understand its broader significance. This mission marked the first-ever private spacewalk. Spacewalks are complex and risky operations where astronauts leave their spacecraft and enter the vacuum of space. Until now, this kind of activity had only been performed by highly trained government astronauts. SpaceX's achievement with Polaris Dawn represents a shift in how space missions can be conducted. Traditionally, agencies like NASA, which are funded by billions of dollars from taxpayers, were the only ones with the resources and expertise to execute such high-stakes missions. SpaceX, however, has managed to achieve this in less than two decades, starting from scratch in 2002. What makes this achievement more impressive is that SpaceX has reached this level without the kind of government funding that NASA receives. The spacewalk was particularly challenging because SpaceX's Dragon capsule does not have an airlock, which means that the entire cabin was exposed to space during the operation. This is different from most other spacewalks, where only the astronauts leaving the spacecraft are exposed to space, while the interior remains sealed. This added a level of risk to the mission, making the successful spacewalk even more remarkable. While SpaceX is achieving all of this, its competitors like Boeing and Blue Origin are facing significant challenges. Boeing, for example, has been developing the Starliner spacecraft, which was supposed to compete with SpaceX's Crew Dragon in transporting astronauts to the International Space Station. However, the Starliner has encountered numerous technical issues and delays, which have hindered its progress. In one high-profile case, Boeing had to return the Starliner spacecraft empty after a failed crewed mission. The astronauts who were supposed to fly in the Starliner were left stranded on the International Space Station for much longer than expected. Initially, the plan was for them to stay for only eight days, but due to these technical problems, they are now expected to remain at the station until at least 2025. This situation reflects Boeing's ongoing struggles to keep up with the advancements made by SpaceX. On the other hand, Blue Origin, the space company founded by Jeff Bezos, has seen some success in space tourism, but is still far behind SpaceX when it comes to orbital missions. Blue Origin has focused mainly on suborbital flights, where passengers experience a few minutes of weightlessness before returning to Earth. While these flights are significant for space tourism, they do not reach the same levels of achievement as SpaceX's orbital missions. Most of SpaceX's missions are powered by their legendary Falcon 9 rocket. If you're a SpaceX fan and want to own a piece of this incredible technology, we have something just for you. Check out our realistic Falcon 9 models available on eBay. These models are designed to be as close to the real thing as possible, perfect for space enthusiasts or collectors. Head over to the link in the description and grab one for yourself before they're gone. Musk recently took to Twitter to share his excitement about the Polaris mission, noting that the Dragon astronauts had reached the highest altitude humans have gone in over half a century. In one of his tweets, Musk expressed his pride by saying, Dragon astronauts are now further from Earth than any humans in over 50 years. He emphasized the importance of pushing the boundaries in space exploration, seeing this as a stepping stone toward more ambitious goals like missions to the moon and Mars. Musk has often highlighted that these milestones represent progress toward making life multiplanetary. The mission lasted six days from September 9th to 15th, reaching the highest Earth orbit since the Apollo missions, flying at 1,481 kilometers above Earth. This high altitude allowed them to study how space radiation affects human health by passing through the Van Allen radiation belts. A lot of scientific research was conducted during the mission. The crew worked with 31 institutions from around the world to study how microgravity affects blood flow and the human cardiovascular system using smartwatches and ultrasounds. They also tested a new medical device called Tempest Pro, which can track health metrics like heart rate and blood pressure in space, preparing for potential medical emergencies in future missions. Additionally, the crew tested SpaceX's Starlink satellites to maintain long-distance communications in space, successfully holding a 40-minute video call with Earth.
Looking ahead, SpaceX has several important missions and goals lined up. One of the biggest is the development and testing of Starship, which is designed to take both cargo and humans on long-duration space missions. Starship will play a key role in future missions to the Moon, including NASA's Artemis program, where SpaceX's version of Starship will serve as the human landing system. SpaceX also aims to conduct more Starship test flights in 2024 to refine its reusability and safety. These tests are crucial as the company works toward establishing a sustainable human presence on the moon and eventually sending humans to Mars. That's all for today. We hope you enjoyed the video and look forward to seeing you in the next one.